Mr. A has a portfolio of three shares A, B and C. So this is in problem number 23. The following details relate to these shares. You are required to calculate the expected rate of return and the standard deviation of the portfolio. So this portfolio consists of three different shares A, B and C and proportions are given 40%, 25 and 35 If you add the proportion should be 100% We have to ensure that Then SD of returns 8, 12 and 6 Expected returns 16, 22 and 12 In the problem I have mentioned as in percentage SD in percentage and ER in percentage But in the exam you may not find that particular symbol or particular information that is in percentage but you have to understand it is in percentage most important then after this table you also have a information that correlation coefficient of AB correlation symbol is R correlation A given that is correlation coefficient correlation is represented by R correlation of A and B 0 0.74 correlation of B and C 0 0.46 Correlation of C and A is 0.82. So we have been given this information in the last paragraph of the problem. Before we proceed further, we have to go for the proportion. So that is nothing but the weight of A, weight of B, weight of C. So this is to be understood. So 40% will be 0.4, 25% will be 0.25. 35% will be 0.35 This will be the rates of A, B, C We will proceed further for the calculation They have told us to find the expected return Expected return of 3 shares are there That is nothing but portfolio return So it is not individual one So 3 combinations are there with us That is expected return of A into weight of A Expected return of A is 16 Weight of A 40% that is 0.4 plus expression of B 22 Weight of B 0.25 Similarly expression return of C 12 Weight of C 0 0.35 so, when you do this combination of work, you will get the value of uh, expected uh, return. So, we have to go for uh, the simplification of this. Then, you will get the final answer there as 16.1 is the answer for the simplification of this. So, portfolio return is 16.1. Next, I will move on to the next one. You can go for simplification and you can work and check it out. Calculation of portfolio risk. So risk is measured in terms of standard deviation. So standard deviation of P or the standard deviation of P symbol is given. So here we have to be more careful. Square root of the whole thing. It is not this much. Even for this combination only, square root is there. So three combinations we go for. Weight of A square, standard deviation of A square, like that for all the three, plus, plus, plus. This combination you have to be more careful. Plus 2 into weight of AB, correlation of AB, standard deviation of A into standard deviation of B. This is one combination. So this is between A and B portfolio. This is between B and C portfolio. Plus, this is between C and A portfolio. This is very important. This will be for uh, 10 marks also possible. Substitution is important. Then simplification takes time. Slowly you have to substitute and go for the simplification. Let me go for uh, <coughs> substitution. Weight of A 0.4 
square into standard deviation of uh, a. Standard deviation of a is given as uh, h. So it is going to be h square plus this is one set. Then weight of uh, the second part of it. Then standard deviation. The third one weight is 0.35 square multiplied by the standard deviation here 6 6 square. So if standard deviation is not there, we have to find here all the information is given. Just the substitution is important. So 2 into weight of uh, A 0.4 weight of B 0.25 then correlation of AB correlation of AB all are given here given correlation coefficient values so AB is 0.74 then standard deviation A into standard deviation B standard deviation A is 8 B is 12 8 into 12. This is one set. This is a continuation. I will work further. 2 into 0.25 into 0.35 into the correlation of B and C. 0 0.46 into standard deviation of B 12. Standard deviation of C 6. Again plus 2 into here combination is C and A combination 0.35 into 0.4 into 0.82 into 12 into 6 so you have to go for entire square root you have to simplify 1 by 1 square multiplied by square then you have to again multiply here also same 0.25 square into 12 square you have to multiply and take one value like that we have to keep on simplifying so when you keep on simplifying and find out the final answer here the final answer is 7.39 there is a one small substitution uh, problem is there. So here standard deviation of C, standard deviation of A. Standard deviation of C is 6, B is uh, 12. I have uh, done something wrong here. So standard deviation of C is 6, standard deviation of A is 8. So because the substitution has gone wrong, the answer is also gone wrong. So 8.09 is the answer. So when you are substituting, you have to be careful. It may happen like this only, as uh, happened for me. So when you are substituting and simplifying, take extra care and work out. But in the final answer, small variations in the points is okay because the numbers are very huge. So you may get small variation. That's okay. But method you have to follow and understand properly. That is most important.